Yep. Okay, this car is the Wave 2. This car vehicle won the Automotive X Prize competition, which concluded last September. Out of 136 entries from around the world, this car is the one, let's call it the last car standing. It achieved an incredible 202.5 miles per gallon equivalent on the dynos at Argonne National Labs, which is a U.S. Department of Energy facility. On the test track at Michigan International Speedway, it still averaged 187 miles per gallon equivalent. It has a drag coefficient of just .157, which is insanely low. There is no other vehicle on the road that has anything close to that. This is a car that's also built for extreme practicality. It has 28 cubic feet of storage space. Let me show you how, what that means. Is 28 cubic feet of storage space is more than the Nissan Leaf. It's more than the Chevy Volt with their seats up. Have a full set of golf clubs right here, <laughs> and could fit two or three more sets uh, like this. Not in a you know Tiger Woods bag, but it makes it an extremely practical car. Absolutely. All the groceries, all everything you need. And as I said, this is more space than the Leaf Easy or the Volt. Easy access too. Very. I mean, a lot more accessible than a standard trunk. Absolutely, yeah. uh, and putting stuff in here. So this this is a car that can, most people don't drive 100 miles in a day, let alone a week. Right. This car will do 200 miles to a fill-up. So if you're charging it every night, you're never going to have a, an issue with this. This will is something that you can drive, you know, if you could do a round-trip commute of 70 miles and still have over half of your capacity left for everything else you needed to do. Fantastic. You could drive this car from Naples to Miami and back. On a charge. On a charge. They tell me it's 100 miles, so I'm taking their word for so it. You're looking at uh, pennies on the day to drive. Well, I'll tell you about the pennies. It's, you know, I can tell you the cost per gallon, but there is no gallon in this car. The entire cost to charge this vehicle from zero to full at this point would be $3. Not $3 a gallon, $3 total. Fantastic, fantastic.